walk down these stairs. Ha! Finally, some good to watch. I'm liking it. I'm liking this. They thought we were on our way to conquering the world together, but the truth is, they were just pawns in my game. Sacrifices waiting to be made on my path to achieving my ultimate goal of winning the WWE Championship. Now, like any great mind, I'm always two steps ahead. I adapt, I control, I kept Dean Ambrose around to take the beatings. I kept Roman Reigns around to dish them out. And when the time came, I cut my losses. I, I like when this is going on, nice little uh, storyline speech. And then my knee caved under the pressure of carrying this company on my back. And when that happened, Roman Reigns rose to become the top dog in WWE. Well, the top dog returns a battleground. But the questions remain, has he lost his edge? Has his confidence been shaken? How will the WWE Universe accept him? I don't know. But believe me, Roman Reigns will never be the same. Dean Ambrose? <laughs> Dean Ambrose is a thief. <laughs> Dean Ambrose is a coward. Recovering from my injury, I worked harder than any human on planet Earth. I came back at Money in the Bank. What do with the Reds? Won back the title that I never lost. Dean three. Ambrose had the nerve to hey. sneak up from behind me, cash in his Money in the Bank contract, and steal my title. Steal my moment. Steal a piece of my life. You know, it's funny, every night we walk down these stairs together and there was a little piece of me that wanted to just push them in the back. Watch them tumble and fall. So it's only fair that tonight, uh -huh. I'm the one who gets to put an end to Dean Ambrose's little fairy tale dream run as WWE Champion. And when he's tumbled and fallen as low as he can go, I will reach down, pick up my title, put it on my shoulder, walk into battleground, and prove to everybody that as far as the shield is concerned, I was always there. I think the this was the highlight general earlier. Manager of Monday Night Raw. And John, I like this choice. The Hall of Famer, Mick Foley, going to be the general manager of Raw. Hey, I like this choice as well. I've been Mick Foley since he started with Dallas. Hey, it's not, I'm a crazy, I'm a unpredictable person. I'll tell what he'll do as general manager. And then it was Shane's turn to make his pick. Who could be more popular and better than Mick Foley? Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, We're popular. the SmackDown Live General Manager. And this was an absolutely incredible scene. The former WWE Champion, Daniel Bryan, the ultimate underdog who captured the imagination of WWE is back. And he's going to be the general manager of SmackDown Live. And I'll be presenting question now is how impacted, how competitive this rivalry will truly be between Raw and SmackDown. It's because our fighting players don't really react that way anymore. Uh, I think it's a punishment over the years. Uh, elbows. And Shadows. 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 You guys mind if I get around yeah. with the ball chain? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the dancing tips. 
Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations on being the world general manager. Phenomenal stuff. Uh, but why on earth would anyone want to work with my sister just completely baffles me? You know, as a matter of fact, I give it six months max. No offense, it too. Uh, anyway, that being said, I just, um, you know, there's some rumblings going around, you know, words spread all over the place. Let's definitely hire you for two reasons. Okay. Number one, how you identify with the crowd. Okay, very smart on her end. And again, WB Hall of Famer, it's awesome. The other, I'm just looking out for her, okay, is the fact that she can control and manipulate you easily. So you're looking out for me? Us. You don't think I entered this relationship with my eyes wide open? Like, I had a front row ticket for your sister's rise to power. Like, I get it. Do I think she's ruthless? Well, to quote your general manager, yes, yes, yes. But whereas the WWE Universe seems a vindictive woman will forego all morality for her own self gain, you know what I see in the center of I see passion. And I see drive. And when the opportunity she gave yeah. me as general manager of Monday Night Raw, I see the opportunity better myself than good old Shane Nick. So if you'll excuse me, Shane, I've got some talents coming. Okay. Well, thanks for looking out for me. All right, Mick. Hey, Mick, one last thing. Have a nice day. Nice little segment. I'm liking this.